And, and you are the person many Jamaicans believe would have denied Merlin that her closest. I'm sorry. <laughs> her closest 100 meter yeah. Olympic title. Yeah. I always tell people, Mike, I must have an eight head and everybody else has a four head. Quick note before today's news. If you regularly watch our channel but are not yet subscribed, help us hit 100k subs. Smash that subscribe button and give us a like and share. Your support is key. Find us at Track Alerts on all socials in the description below. And, um, of course, I, I I used to watch you back then with you know of course oh, your yeah, famous my nails were um, a little bit longer and then, you yeah. still have them okay <laughs> they're 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 growing back I just cut them like a couple months ago so they grow really fast unfortunately yes. <laughs> um, you were outstanding on the track and uh, how what kept you motivated during your time of competing for you to be doing so good over and over again <laughs> for so long because I was like the grandmother of the sport you know it was really just setting goals for myself and just trying to see how good I could be how fast I could go um, and those goals were my personal goals of you know what I wanted to accomplish and then you know you know who my coach was at that time Bob Kersey he don't play you know we set a goal and it's a realistic goal and we got to work towards it and we keep working towards that goal until that goal is accomplished and of course we would have seen you competing against the Jamaicans over and over the Merlin at the then yes. the Juliet Cockburn yes. then what was it like um what was those um, competition like for you oh my gosh always had to bring your a plus 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 you know I tell people I, I used to tease and say okay if Merlin can do it I can do it too and you know just her being a great athlete and then Juliet Cuthbert you know and us going back to back head to head competitions it always made for great competition nobody ever dodged anybody you know when you went to Europe every two days you know you're gonna meet up with them again and so it, it, it forced you to challenge yourself and figure out what you could do and how much better you can get and I think it made the sport great because people always you didn't know who was going to win but you knew it was going to be a great competition and I think that's what track and field is about people want to come and see great performances and I think back in the day that's what we you know prided ourselves on was not dodging each other getting out there and running great competitions and like I tell people I'm like they were beasts to run against because if Juliet or Merlene stepped in a race today I'd be concerned because if they're there I know they're ready to run you know and I, and that just speaks for the type of athletes that they are and, and you are the person many Jamaicans believe would have denied Merlin that her closest I'm sorry <laughs> her closest 100 meter yeah. Olympic title yeah I always tell people I'm like I must have an eight head and everybody else has a four head and, you know and I got that eight head across you know but she was always an inspiration for me you know and like I said we had some great competitions over the years and um, I've always admired her of what she did and, and how she does it so 100 hurdles, 100. You were great at both. How did you do it? <laughs> um, you know what? Hurdles was a challenge for me because I always wear something with a, a big heel on it so I could act like I'm 6'4". But um, it became a challenge that it's like there's two things you can do when you're faced with a challenge. You can conquer it or you can be conquered. And in the hurdles, I always chose to conquer it. Even when I fell over that last hurdle, I tell people I... I I was successful because success is by your efforts and I gave it my all on that day. Mm -hmm. And um, this question many people kept asking, world record, the, the women's 100 and 200, America, 100 and 200 for men, Jamaica. Do you see any female no and who or any male no you think will break any one of those records? Um, you know, the America, we're putting our hopes in, in the American team this year, but there's so many athletes that are running well. Um, you just don't know. I, I think the world record can be broken. You know, Elaine came very close a couple years ago at the Olympic Games, um, and then she went to Europe and, and ran well. You can never underestimate 
Shelly Ann Fraser Price. I'm sorry, I don't care what you say. She knows how to win and she knows when to win. You know, I hear this might be her last time. So you know she's gonna go out and make some noise. She's gonna go out with a bang because that's what she's about. You know, she's a legend of our sport for a reason. For a reason. And so, if anybody can do it, I think this will be a good year based off of, you know, them coming together. Shakari's back on her game. Um, we've got some new, young, hungry athletes from all over the world. You know, don't know where the world record's gonna come from, but I know if all of them get together and they run well, it could, it could fall. Thank you very much. All Thank the best. You.